Good morning, my parrot and art lovers. All right, today I'm actually doing something a little bit different. Um, this is another part of my life that is growing increasingly important to me. It's something I really enjoy doing. And so it's Saturday morning in Townsville. I've decided to really quickly come down to the university and I've got my windows down and I'm driving around looking for the sounds and listen looking for the sounds, listening for some parrots and some birds, particularly black cockatoos. I have my Canon EOS with me. Um, yeah, I I admit it, I am a bit of a bird watcher as well. I used to love twitching when I was a teenager and because I've got this awesome camera that my partner Peter got me, thank you Peter, um, I have started rediscovering twitching a little bit purely so I can get some really gorgeous photos of birds. My ultimate goal is to be able to paint from my own photos instead of other people's photos. Okay, so I'm going to put my camera down and I have pulled over like a good person but now I'm going to keep driving. So I'm ditching James Cook University idea purely because I couldn't hear anything there. There was no black cockatoos. Oh. So, I am going to go into, well I am, Palm Eaton Botanical Gardens. So we'll have a look, see what we can hear, and see if we can't try and get some early morning birds. I'm pretty sure it's not early morning enough anymore, but anyway, we'll see what happens. I hear birds in the rainforest. just found baby bush turkeys. Oh my gosh, they're just the most adorable things. It's a baby. They're so cute. Ah, so the noise I heard before is a whole bunch of nests up the top, but it's bin chickens. Ah, straw necked and sacred ibis. But in Australia, we call them bin chickens because they're just gross. And they just, they live off human, human rubbish. However, just through there, there's actually a baby ibis. And I don't like bin chickens, but this is actually pretty cute. You can hear it's just totally the wrong time of day to come. I should have come down about five in the morning and there would have been a lot more stuff happening here pretty well now I've just seen some wallabies and we've just got a few brush bush turkeys but that's the nature of it you know sometimes I'll go out sometimes I'll find stuff sometimes I won't and it really does depend on the day it's got to be early morning So I might wander out of the um, rainforest habitat and see if there's anything down near any water, bodies of water. Might be some ducks or something. Um, I'm already getting to the stage, I need to go back and have a coffee, have some breakfast. I haven't done any of that yet. <laughs> George will be upset because I didn't get him breakfast yet. It's like about 7 o'clock. So, but yeah, this is the other thing I like to do um, increasingly. I, I never used to do a lot of this, but well, I, I did it as a teenager and now I'm pretty well rediscovering it. I haven't actually been in this botanical garden for like over 12 years, so I have no idea what paths I'm allowed to go on. I think this is a dead end. This looks like a dead end. Yeah, I mean, in 15 years, though, some of these trees have grown. 
really, really impressively. Especially the rainforest walk. That's actually quite lovely now. But not early enough for any birds except bin chickens and bush turkeys. I'm back to the entrance where I heard the main lot of bird noise at the ibis nest. There's another kind of bird I can hear but I can't identify it. Jeez, even the lagoon is dead. Apart from ibises. There really wasn't a lot down there that day. So because I have started doing the twitching again and I've started showing you, here's a few of my older, better video, uh, sorry, photographs. Um, these are from Paluma and Caramine and out on the reef.